the thrill of the ride. Some people never grow up. That could describe members of an organization called American Coaster Enthusiasts, or the ACE. While other adults might relax with activities such as playing golf, reading, gardening, or going to the movies, members of this organization meet all over the world to ride roller coasters. ACE has over 5,000 members in 16 countries and publishes a bi-monthly newsletter. They work to preserve wooden roller coasters in danger of being torn down or in need of repair. Their efforts have helped rescue and refurbish the Giant Dipper in San Diego, California, and the oldest roller coaster in the world, Leap the Dips, located in Altoona, Pennsylvania. Roller coasters have a long history. They originated in the 15th century in Russia as Russian mountains. People created ice-covered hills and built sleds of wood. Then they would climb stairs that were 70 or 80 feet high, reach the top of the ice-covered hill, get into a wooden sled, and head down. It was a short but very fast ride. Some people say the first real roller coaster with wheels was built in 1784 in St. Petersburg, Russia, under the orders of Catherine the Great. Others say it was built in Paris in 1804. A primitive form of roller coaster came to the United States in 1827, when a mining company built a track almost nine miles long to transport coal downhill to the town of Mockchunk, Pennsylvania. Soon people were paying 50 cents to enjoy a thrilling ride down the hill on the coal carts. The first modern roller coaster was built on Coney Island in Brooklyn, New York, in 1884. Called the Gravity Switchback Railway, it was primitive by today's standards. But it was a hit with customers, even though they had to climb to the top of a platform to get into a car. For many years, roller coaster tracks were made of wooden railroad ties. But in 1959, Disneyland introduced the Matterhorn bobsleds, which used a steel track. That was a breakthrough in the world of roller coasters because steel could be bent to allow loops, corkscrews, and other innovations. Now roller coasters send riders on trips that no one could even have imagined in the early days of the ride. Some of those riders are, of course, members of ACE, people who have never forgotten the thrill of their first trip on a roller coaster.